Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. So I'm super excited today. I am doing a collaboration uh, video with Karen over at Waterfall Acrylics. So I'm super excited. I love Karen's channel. Um, her channel is called Waterfall Acrylics. I will link it below. If you haven't uh, heard of her before, definitely pop by her channel and check her out. She's awesome. She's fun, fun to watch, down to earth, and just, yeah, she's cool. So check her out. I will link her down below. We are doing a deconstructed bloom. Um, so what we did is we have chosen the same colors to use and it's artist's choice to use. Um, you get to, uh, like, I get to pick my cell activator and Karen picks hers. So I will go over the colors with you guys. And these colors are inspired by Karen's Kleenex box and I will pop a picture Yes, so this was the Kleenex box is the inspiration for our deconstructed blue So I'm just really gonna really quick gonna go over the colors the recipe and all that will be linked below or in the description box below with the mixing video um, Linked as well. So we'll just go over the colors This is Amsterdam blue violet and then we have <laughs> Amsterdam greenish blue. Karen was so kind to let me get in my greenish blue because yeah, that's my go-to. And then we have Color Arts um, Fairy Wings. Hopefully, I kind of have like, a, I'm filming in a weird time of day for me, so the lighting is not the greatest. Well, it never is, but. So there's Fairy Wings and that is, Part of the Glitz line by Color Art. And then we have, oh, this is Prussian Blue by, I wanted to use Amsterdam, but I either ran out or I misplaced my bottle. So I'm using Pavillon, uh, the Prussian Blue. So there we go. And then finally, one of my um, favorites lately is the Be Mine by Color Art. This one's definitely one of my favorites. Currently, I'm going to set up my board and get started. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go over my cell activator. Okay, so my cell activator is Australian Flood Floetrol. Um, I'm kind of not sure which ones I'm gonna use, so I just have three of them out. This is Pebio's Blue Black, and I put in just a drop of Oxide Black by Amsterdam just to darken it up a little bit. And then I have Amsterdam's Oxide Black and Amsterdam Titanium White. So we'll see which way we go. Okay, so here's the consistency of my house paint, my base paint that I'm putting down the pillow. I have thinned it down with water. Okay, but again, you can see all the products and the uh, recipes in the description box below. And a mixing video as well. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in. I have, I'm not sure which hair dryer I'm going to use. I have my little travel one and my just regular size hair dryer. Get those both plugged up. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, fingers crossed. Okay, so this is obviously gonna need a lot of paint. All right, I'm gonna stop there. And I did just kind of thin this down recently, like within the like probably the last hour and a half, two hours maybe. So I have a lot of bubbles. So I'm just bang them out and that's around. Okay, so now I have to do, I'm gonna probably do three puddles to blow out. And I'm gonna mix up the color variation. Okay, so let's go. Do you know what I'm actually gonna Oh, fingers crossed. This turns out. Okay, so this is kind of a big surface that I'm pouring on, so I'm gonna try and use a good amount of colors, but I have, what, five colors here? So that's that. Why don't we do greenish blue. Actually, you know what, we'll do, ah. Okay. 
The Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Oh, I'm a bit nervous because I haven't really done this deconstructed bloom like this before. So let's go Amsterdam greenish blue. Now, okay, so this greenish blue is a little bit thick, so I'm going to take some water and just thin it down a little bit. I normally, I'm probably sticking some um, more varnish, but for now, because it's right there, easy to grab, I'm just gonna thin it down with some water. But if it's too thick, it's not going to move, so. But then you don't want to add too much water because then you'll break the binders, the paint. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm nervous if you can't tell. <laughs> it's grand. Okay, so we have Prussian Blue Violet and Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Yeah. Add some of the fairy wings to here. I kind of got to work quick because I don't want all this color to sink. So there. And get my Be Mine and drop it here. I'm kind of alternating between two paint and pigments so I feel it just holds up a bit better and you get some really cool, oh sorry about that, you get some really cool like peacock cells sometimes. Um, just multicolored cells with like borders and, and as I say that I throw a pigment down on top of that. All right, and then let's go. Blue. Okay, maybe, sure, why not? Gotta fill up this one. I'm going to do, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm kind of doing like messy layers now. Just drizzling it. And let's get some Be Mine. Almost done. I think, um, eh, let's see. How about. just making a mess of these colors. Okay, what do I not have? Oh, let's go for some blue violets. Actually. No, this is probably seems like me. I don't even know if this seems like too much, but these, this is a big surface, so I want to make sure I have a lot of paint on, or color on there. Okay, so now we're going to put the cell activator on and blow out these little puddles. I'm gonna blow out. Mmm. This one first, and we are going to do. Okay, I'm gonna do some of this blue-black mix. This is gonna be double cell activator and some black. So this is gonna be dark, but I'm hoping I get some of that pillow, the white to come up from the pillow. And 
I'm gonna try my travel one, so excuse the noise. some cell activator here. Let's go. Oh, I don't like what happened there. Okay, we can fix that. Hmm. Sure, why not? And sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go high. Okay, so let's go black. I'm just gonna do, well, oh no. Tilt. Wow, that actually turned out really nice. Not too happy about this. I think I let it sit too long because I had to get the door and this one as well. So I'm just going to start tilting away. I'm probably need to get that middle to come up. See how that middle right there is stuck? I blew too far to the surface. So we're just gonna have to go with it. See how it's folding over there? Eventually it'll maybe move. Okay, don't like that corner, that white. And I'm going to scrape up this paint that's falling off. I know I have tons of paint, but I'll scrape it up and use it as a um, base layer or practice puddles, anything like that. Okay, so now I need to flip this around without getting paint all over my floor, which I just almost did. Okay, so now I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna get this, and then I'm gonna get these. It's very pretty, regardless of um, my composition currently. So just give me a minute, we'll mess with it. Get that off. Oh, it's very, the colors are gorgeous. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, now I'm just moving that paint down to the other end. Karen, I'm probably making a mess of this and you're like, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna have to fix. Okay. Whew. I have to say my arms are sore. I was, I'm debating on whether to take this off, but I actually like the movement that's in it and all the color. Um, 
do like this lacing like little wing here. I think I might just tilt off some, go a little bit down. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that bottom. And that little white strip at the corner, and then I'm gonna stop and tilt it that way. Holy moly, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, to redo or not to redo. I'm actually just gonna just gives it a bit more to highlight in there. Let's do a little corner down here and see. There we go. And Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm probably just gonna walk away for a little bit and come back to it. But you guys let me know what you think and definitely check out Karen at Waterfall Acrylics. You probably hear my kids outside screaming. Um, yeah, check Karen out at Waterfall Acrylics. I will link her below. And Karen, awesome doing collab collaboration with you. So I can't wait to see your painting. All right, guys. Until next time, I will talk to you later. But first, I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, bye.